I've lit the fire for the first time today, in uh, the first time since June, I think. Because it's getting a bit colder, it's 14 degrees here and it's foggy. And uh, the house is cooling down, so I've been getting kindling, firewood, and I've just come out to inspect the wood supply, and the twig supply, and I came across this squeaking. And at first I thought it was a bird's nest. But, look at this. There's definite mammals in there. Oh, there we go. Isn't that the cutest? Now, I'm not sure what they are. I'm assuming it's stoats or weasels. I had no idea where stoats or weasels actually make nests. And I don't know whether that is perhaps a... Uh, an old bird nest. I know there was a blackbird that was toing and throwing here earlier in the season. So I don't know if they've uh, nicked something's nest. I don't know if that's the way it works, but uh, what a find. Right in my garden. It's rare enough to see stoats and weasels, yet alone see their young. I've never seen their young. I was about to say they look like little otters. But then that's not surprising. Oh, obviously it's impossible, but it's not surprising. Because uh, these are all part of the same family. All these weasels, stoats, badgers, otters. They're all mustelids. All part of the same family. So it's not surprising they all kind of look the same. Right, well I did just see a parent stoat or weasel come back. I heard rustling, clunking behind there. So I'm going to get out of the way. Give them a chance to feed their young. We'll just wait and see if it comes. There it is, there it is. You can hear a commotion, it's just found a way into the shed and it's coming through the back somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at that. It's got a vole in its mouth, look. Did you see that? It had something in its mouth. Sitting, waiting for it to come back. Assumed it's off hunting or something. I'm saying all the time about how we've got these little dramas right under our noses if we know where to look. And in this case, it wasn't a case of knowing where to look, it was knowing what to listen for. I mean, if we're coming out here and hearing the squeaking, obviously not a bird, it's screaming out for attention. Oh my word. Have you ever seen anything like it? I'm wondering actually if it is actually its parent. Wondering maybe if it's another one. Stoat or weasel that's oh, taking these babies away, or maybe it's moving them. Is it moving them, maybe? It's a weasel, I think. I wonder if it's actually moving them. I wonder if the, the thing that it was in its mouth that I thought was a vol one's wondering maybe it's moving its young somewhere else. Ah, let's have a look. That's two parents. Now it's all gone very quiet. 
yeah actually the more I think about it this seems that seems a logical answer it wasn't taking some sort of vole in its mouth it's taking its young away it's moving them very very twitchy savvy little animals I think the slightest hint of danger they're whisking their young away somewhere that they think is safer but there appears to be one lone voice left one cute little squeaky noise down there just squeaking away to itself so I'm fully expecting these parents to return one more time to retrieve their final youngster do seem to get a warning before you see them because as the parents come closer they're communicating to their young and the young squeaking back so there's a little bit of heightened squeaking before any of these things appear I've been waiting about 15 minutes now for this final youngster to be retrieved makes you wonder what they're doing in between but it was about 10 minutes interval between the last two being taken still waiting Here we go. And that was it, that's the last one. Just like that. Yep, and now the squeaking has stopped. That's it, they've all been moved. <sighs> I'm wondering if they were brought there, because they weren't there yesterday. There was definitely no squeaking here yesterday. And I'm wondering if they were brought here overnight, maybe, since yesterday. And just by bad luck, I happened to be standing here investigating when one of the parents came back and then they decided to move them. So on the, I feel quite bad about that, but that's the way it is for these little creatures, I imagine that they're always moving their young from one place to the next, I'd have thought, at the slightest hint of danger. But, um, what a privilege to see something like that. I know it's not wildebeest being eaten by alligators or crocodiles in the Serengeti or anything, but it's, it's still these little moments that really move you and inspire you. Cute moments too.